We're going to use the graph to the right to answer the following questions A through J. So question A asks, what is the domain of F? Now remember, your domain are all of your X values. Okay, so it's how far to the left and how far to the right your graph goes. Now for this graph, you can see that the domain is not everything because you don't have any graph over here. If I'm at 10, I look up and down, I see no graph. So on the right-hand side, the graph starts about right here, and that's in between 5 and 6. So I think that is 5.5, let's say 5.5. And, and to the left, how far to the left does this graph go? Well, it never stops going to the left. We see this arrow here. That means that even though it is going down, it's always going to the left. Okay, so I could find a graph if I looked. I could find a graph. If I looked here, I'd find a graph. It would probably be right there. Right At negative 8, I would still be able to find a graph. It would probably be down here at this point. But the graph never stops going to the left. So my domain is going to be everything from negative infinity to 5.5. Okay, it's all my x values from negative infinity to 5.5. Infinity and negative infinity always gets a parenthesis in interval notation, always. And 5.5, since it is a closed circle and the graph does actually hit there at 5.5, I'm going to use a bracket.